What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to share with you a pretty cool Microsoft Ads tool, and that's the Microsoft Ads Intelligence tool. And what this does is allows you to delve deeper into your keyword research and get more ideas and insight about keywords that you just make up and want to know more information about, or keywords that you look through in the Keyword Planner tool. So the way you first download Microsoft Ads uh, Intelligence is you click on Tools at the top of your Bing Ads or Microsoft Ads dashboard, and you click on Microsoft Advertising Intelligence. And it's going to take you to this page, and you simply download it, um, download now. And what that's going to do is actually add a little add-on to your Excel. So you do have to have Excel installed. And so here I am in my home tab, but you will see after you install it, you will have this Microsoft Advertising Intelligence tab right over here. Uh, and this will have some other options for you. So uh, I'm just going to go over a few of the options and some of the options that I use um, to delve into a little bit more keyword research. So what I have here are just some keywords from the Keyword Planner uh, about the keto diet. So keto diet, ketosis, keto diet, weight loss. And I just wanted to show you that we can pull up quite a bit more detailed and useful information with this. So there are a few uh, options that I use here. So the first one is this keyword performance. So this will tell you uh, information over the past day range. So either last month, last day, or last week for all these keywords. So the first thing you want to do is select all the keywords you want to test. If you want to add some other keywords, just write them down manually and then select it and then click this button. And so that's, you know, this, this first tab here that just says which keywords do you want to select and you've already selected it. So that there one um, dollar sign B, dollar sign B, stuff like that. That's just the Excel uh, column and row calculator. So that just shows which row and col uh, columns you're taking. Uh, you can choose the device. So, for example, if you only want to see how many people on their smartphones, for example, use these keywords, you can select that. Um, or you can just select everything, desktop and laptop, smartphones, right? I'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, you can choose the match type. So broad, exact, or phrase, or everything in this case, aggregate. I'll leave it at that. You can choose your ad position. So how many of these were from ad position one, two, three, or four. Uh, and the date range. So last month, last week, or last day are the options you have. And this is real historical data from what happened. So, uh, oh, and one more thing. So you can either click new worksheet and what that does is that will open up a new tab in the same Excel sheet, or you can um, use the existing worksheet to give you information in this very same tab, basically. I like to go with new worksheet to keep it nice and tidy. So let me show you what that looks like. We'll click on submit. And boom, okay, so you have so much more data, even more data than the keyword planner, because this tells you exactly for every specific keyword what you're looking at. You can also filter this from smallest to largest, largest to smallest. So you can see that these are the keywords with the highest impressions, what the average CTR was, the average cost per click, the total cost, the average bid, stuff like that. So incredibly useful information. So you can see that, you know, the keyword keto diet is incredibly, incredibly popular. Over last month, you know, 35,000 clicks, insanely high demand. So if you're promoting a product with such a general keyword keto diet, right, you're going to have tons of traffic. No, no doubt about that. Okay. So that's what this option tells you. That's the most basic one, the keyword performance. And as you can see here, it opened a new tab. So now that you have that, we can go back and let, let's let's look at some other options that we have here. So you can click on more research. And then these are the five that I use, mostly these two. So the first one is web page keywords. So that um, I don't really use. I believe you need a website. And this will give you a list of keywords related to your website. So we don't have a website here. Um, I'm going to move on. Keyword expansions will give you a list of uh, keywords that are extremely, extremely similar to what you have here. So for instance, let me show you, uh, I don't want like a list of, you know, 5,000 words. So I'll just select these five just to show you as an example. And then I'll click keyword expansions. And again, you can select, you know, how many keywords do you want? The maximum is 50, I believe, or no, 100. 
And this will tell you how many ideas you want, basically. So let's go with 50, which is the basic. Uh, again, we're just going to leave it at that because we've already selected it. And we want it in a new worksheet, and I'll click Submit. So what this will generate is a list of keywords that are incredibly similar. So, for example, for the keyword keto diet, right, it generates stuff like keto diets, dieta keto, probably in Spanish, keto diet meals, your keto diet, diets keto, keto diet works. So if you really want to hone in on any one specific keyword, you know, you have this one keyword that's doing very well for you, and you want all the different variations of that one keyword because it's doing well and you want to try that without going too broad, this is the perfect tool for you to use to maximize the one keyword, right? So Dieta Quito, you'll probably be targeting the Spanish audience looking for the exact same thing, right? Even though I'm not sure how to say keto diet in Spanish, but I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, you know, diets keto, that's probably similar. WWW keto diet, that's probably similar. So stuff like that um, gives you a really good idea for keywords that are extremely similar to that, okay? So let's go back to the keyword planner. And if you, you know, if you want to go back to any of those options that we've selected, you have the tabs here. They're labeled, they're titled. If you want, you can right click and you can rename it to whatever you want to. Um, that's pretty clear to me, so I'm going to leave it. So let's go through the other options. So um, you have this searches with your keyword. So that will pull up a list of searches that have your keyword in there. So, for example, if we select, you know, if we select all that, and we go to searches with your keyword. Again, we'll leave it at 50. This will give us a list of all the search queries that contain your keyword. So not a big list here, but as you can see here, for example, for the keyword ketosis, it's got ketosis in there, ketosis symptoms, what is ketosis? So all these words are in there. So if you want some more ideas of queries that would include your keyword and you want to see, well, okay, how can I expand? You know, how can I add more keywords? But my keyword, my main keyword must be in there. This is the perfect tool for you to be able to get some more ideas. Okay. So let's go to the next one. There's just two more I want to share with you. And that's associated keywords. Okay. I really like this one. Um, so if you if you don't really um like the keyword planner for your specific search or you're not finding the best ideas and you prefer to make them up or go to you know Bing.com and type something in, um, and you want more ideas for those keywords that you made up, this is the perfect tool for it. So for instance, you know, let's suppose um, keto diet, you know, uh, let's suppose these three are the keywords that I think are best suited for my website. Okay. And obviously most of them are, are pretty similar, but let's suppose these three are the ones that I came up with and I say, okay, these three are the best suited for what I'm promoting and I want more ideas. I'm going to click on associated keywords. Let's see if we can go to 100 just to get more ideas here. I'll click on submit. And this will give you many, many, many more ideas for that one keyword. So keto diet, ketogenic diet, keto recipes, keto food, ketogenic food, keto menu. So this opens your mind a bit um, better than the keyword planner. So keyword planner is kind of all over the place. So you type in, you know, keto diet recipes. And the keyword planner is going to give you completely unrelated searches, some of them, okay, completely unrelated. This one will uh, give you pretty related keywords that you can use that are really similar to your main one. So an awesome tool as well. Um, and then if you go back, one more thing I wanted to show you, if you go to more research, and that is related searches. And that is awesome. So for those of you that are perfectionists and that want to really hone down on the keyword research and before you start your campaign, uh, campaign, you want to get an idea of what people will actually be typing. That's what you use. So let's suppose we look at keto diet, okay? Uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll select everything, but we'll look at keto diet as the example. And then I'll click on related searches. So this will show us what people are actually typing in um, based on this Bing Ads intelligence, what people are actually typing in for your keyword. So let's see whether your keywords are actually relevant, okay? This is a tool to check if it's relevant. So for instance, for the keyword keto diet, your ad will show up if someone types in five-day ketosis diet. Now, this is pretty specific. So if you don't have a five-day ketosis diet, chances are people won't sign up to whatever it is you're promoting because they're looking for a five-day keto diet, okay? If you have um, a 30-day keto diet, maybe they'll say, oh, wow, this is better. Um, 
you know, in this case, a 30 day keto diet is obviously much more enhanced than a five day. But for other products where some, something like this isn't related, um, you know, this is something you'd want to add as a negative keyword. So five day, maybe you'd want to add as a negative keyword. You don't want to add ketosis diet, but maybe five day could be your negative keyword, you know, one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day, you know, all that could be a negative keyword for you. So you can get ideas before you run the campaign, right? Especially if you're tight on budget, you can have a good idea of what people are typing in. Uh, ketosis diet plan for women. Okay. So this person's looking specific something for women. So maybe you can create, you know, if you're promoting something, maybe you can create a men's and a women's section and take people to, you know, create a separate keyword, keto diet for women, and take people to the women's side, okay? Just an, just an idea, something like that. Keto diet, how to start, you know? So, okay, there you go. Okay, okay so a three-day ketosis diet. So, you know, these two pretty similar people know what they want. So then there's this ketogenic diet, Lyle McDonald. You're not promoting, you know, Lyle McDonald. I don't think so, unless you are. Um, maybe add that as a negative keyword, right? People are searching for Lyle McDonald. If they don't see that, on your ad, not likely to convert. So you get a good idea here, words you can add as a negative keyword, and just to see, well, is this keyword actually good? Is this keyword related to what I'm doing, okay? So that's pretty much it, what I wanted to share with you. Um, so you have all these tabs here. I believe there were five, six that we went over, and the sixth one was the web page one, which we didn't really look at, but if you have a website and you want it to be scanned, I guess that's how you would go about doing that. Um, there are these other options you can choose. So, you know, search user location, age group and gender. So for instance, if I select this and I go to age group and gender, uh, this will give me an idea of what the age and gender is of people searching for these keywords. Um, I wouldn't rely too heavily on this because I think it's all about testing yourself. So, you know, for keto diet, it says here that the biggest audience is female um, ages 50 to 64. So I wouldn't rely too much on this. I would just run my ad, gather the data, and then from my data, I would um, make these adjustments. I wouldn't look at this, uh, but this is just a tool which can give you a rough idea. Maybe, you know, if you're really tight on budget, something you can start to maybe, you know, you can remove 1824, probably don't have the money to buy, you know, like a $80 supplement. There's lots of those supplements, um, maybe 25 to 34, stuff like that, just to give you an idea. But there's a bunch of these um, tools you can use. Uh, search user location, same thing, just gives you the geographic location of most people that searched for, yeah, right, so state province, you can select the country. Um, in this case, this was US, and it's going to go by state. So it's going to show the percentage, for example, for keto diet, right? I guess the biggest one is, oh yeah, it sorts from largest to smallest. Um, it's going to be California, okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys, an awesome tool to supplement your keyword planner. Um, gives you more insight, gives you more information. That is what I wanted to share. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.